So, Mike, for the agility sea rods, we've got one more section, and that includes some spinning rods and some species-specific rods. Yep. So first of all, let's have a look at the 11 foot 6 bass. Well, it's three-piece action, very slim, very lightweight, because it's got to be held all the time, you know, you're feeling for bass bites. What we've done with it, we've given it a, a soft tip so you don't smash crab baits up, but equally so, power comes in pretty quickly, so you've got good bite detection, but also you've got the power to bully big fish when you're working in among snags. And what sort of casting weight would you rate that rod at? We've rated this one at two to four. It'll mainly be used with two to three ounce leads, but obviously baits, and you tend to use fairly big baits for bass. We've got another 11 foot six rod, again, three piece, and this one you call flatty. That's right. This has got a, a one to three ounce action, again, to be used with one and two ounce. Three ounce, yes, but mainly one to two ounce and bait. Again, three piece, um, more of a progressive action designed for fishing estuaries, obviously, for the flatfish, but you can also use it for bass too, and even light surf fishing. Nice one. Okay, 10 foot MPV. What does MPV stand for? Well, MPV stands for multi-purpose vehicle. Basically what this rod is, it's designed to do a multitude of jobs. So again, with its three-piece um, configuration, it's easy to stow in the car. So somebody who wants just one rod to do a lot of things, this is the rod for it. You can float fish with it, you can spin, you can plug, you can even use it for light ledger fishing in the surf and estuaries. So it literally is a multi-purpose vehicle. And then the next rod I know is a particular favourite of yours. This is the Bass Plug-in Rod, eight foot. That's right, real sweet little rod this. It's um, quite powerful but it's designed for 10 to 40 gram lures, particularly plugs. And you can use it over rough ground when you're working surface poppers, but also deep divers for bass. Um, quite a lot of power in this boat section, so you can steer big fish away from snags again. So light, incredibly light. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't yeah, it? It's great, So yeah. slim. I'd actually use it on the boats for bream with, with sort of six pound line, absolutely perfect. A really nice sporting action. Oh yeah, it really is. Okay, and finally, we've got three spinning rods from eight foot up to 10 foot. And I guess you've matched the casting weights perfectly to the length of the rod? That's right. You're covering, across the three rods, you're covering 20 gram right up to 100 gram. Um, all sorts of stuff. You know, this, this little um, eight footer you would use for mackerel, um, the nine foot and the 10 foot you'd use for bass, for pollock off the rock ledges, that type of thing. Plenty of power in them, cast really well, but also the power in the lower butt, again, gives you that ability to bully a fish if need be. Yeah, I think they're going to be really key rods in they this agility range. Rods, yeah.